Welcome to Mrs Kiriakou's top tips to cultivate more reading in our children. My first top tip is to make it very evident when we are reading. A lot of our reading is done on devices such as phones, iPads, Kindles. So it's really good to draw attention to when we're actually reading and share and make it obvious that we're reading. In fact, instead of reading on my Kindle at times, I'll purposefully pick up a book so that my own children can see I'm actually reading a book. And that way they will take interest and ask me what page I'm on, and what I've learnt so far about the characters. And that seems to draw their interest a lot more sometimes. Also, a lot of our children may have people they aspire to be like, or role models, and it's really good for them to see these kind of role models reading too, and for us to draw attention to the fact that these people they aspire to be like are also readers. My tip two is create a comfortable reading area. Pick a spot in your house which is bright, comfortable and really inviting. If you don't have that right now, make that a DIY project that you do with your children and create that inviting, comfortable, cosy reading nook. That they've, because they've helped to create it, they're more likely to want to enjoy it. Make it a place where children see that as a reward for something, to be able to sit there and enjoy their books. In fact, how about create your own dear time, your own drop everything and read time once a week, at least in your own families. So every Sunday, for example, from three to 3.30 is reading time. And no matter what's going on, Everyone is in their own little corner, enjoying a book. For tip three, when children are reading, it's really nice for their confidence and their sense of self for you to ask questions, to show an interest in what they read, to ask them where they are in their reading, what they've learnt so far, what they're enjoying the most what you think might happen next to make them feel like what they read is important and you care about their reading journeys and you take an interest in that and it can be a weekly fun thing that you do or a daily fun thing that you do and they look forward to to share what they've read to have that special time with you another top tip is to encourage book clubs these could be family book clubs and I'm really looking forward to doing that with my own children when they're a bit older. Encouraging book clubs with friends that they can engage in and share the same books. And even when they can't physically meet up, you could organise an online meetup to discuss those books. These could be part of the curriculum or out of the curriculum. There are also a wide variety of online book clubs that you could join and your children can join that you can oversee that they can really enjoy. For tip five, studies show the easier it is for us humans to do something, the more convenient it is for us to do something, the more likely we are to do it. Therefore, a quick fix tip is to make your books accessible. Have them at height level. Have them in places where your children spend a lot of time. And they are therefore more likely to pick up that book and start reading it and enjoying it. And they're more likely to pick up another book and read it and enjoy it. Tip six. Sometimes the best journeys start 
at very simple beginnings. For some of our children, the hardest thing is, is for them to realise that they even like reading. And that has to start with what they enjoy. Whether it's a graphic novel, or a comic, or a magazine, as a start. And from then, to choose books related to their interest, to pique their interest, that could be a start of a whole lifetime of reading adventures. So now you have Heston's top six tips to help your children start to read more. If you'd like some further information, there are some further links on the website, so please have a look. And to start with, I really recommend just picking and committing yourself to one or two of these tips. And to get that support from fellow parents and perhaps start that together, both of you as parents, perhaps different parents, decide on one tip that you both do in your separate families and see how it goes. And I look forward to hearing about your reading adventures from your children. Thank you.